and welcome back to another Windows beta build tutorial. And now today we're going to be taking a look at the Windows 8 release preview. And uh, you know, first off, I just want to uh, wish everyone a, a happy Thanksgiving by the time that uh, I get this video out. Um, it's probably going to be uh, around Thanksgiving time. And I just uh, you know hope that everyone's having a, you know, a great day so far. Um, but yeah, uh, so today we're, we are going to be taking a look at the Windows 8 release preview. Um, and, you know, I just figured that, you know, I, ha I uh, have made videos on uh, both the Windows 8 developer and uh, the consumer preview, and I haven't really done this one yet, um, mainly because I haven't really found the time to make this video, but, you know, of course, uh, I found time today, and uh, I've decided, you know, why not? So, yeah, today we're going to be, uh, you know, taking a look at the Windows 8 release preview, and uh, this was actually uh, uh, suggested um, a few times. Uh, by uh, a few people, but a little history about this build is this was um, announced on May 31st, 2012 and it was uh, released uh, to the public by Microsoft and this was the last preview build of Windows 8 before that uh, it hit RTM um, and was, uh, you know, like made uh, officially available by Microsoft uh, and that was on uh, August 1st, 2012, so this was, uh, you know, a little bit before that um, and uh, it included a, a few new apps. Uh, it uh, brought uh, an, a, a new edition of the uh, sports, travel, and news apps. And it also uh, included an integrated version of the Adobe Flash Player in uh, Internet Explorer 10, which I think is the first time uh, that that has you know been possible in in uh, Internet Explorer. You know, before then, you'd have to like uh, go and uh, download Flash pl uh, Player yourself. Um, which, you know, uh, that was uh, very good to have uh, in the modern version of uh, Internet Explorer. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to have all the links you're going to need down below, and I believe that's just going to be a link to an ISO file um, in both 32 and 64-bit editions, as well as uh, the Windows 8 release preview product key. Um, I will also have that down below as well. And uh, I'm going to be using VMware Workstation 10, you can of course uh, use this on whatever uh, you know software that you want it to you know use it on, uh, but just to, you know keep things kind of simple. Uh, VMware Workstation usually uh, makes the process a little bit easier. Uh, at least that's what I found. You can again use you know whatever software that you want, uh, but you just want to you know open it up and uh, create a new virtual machine. And uh, if you're using a VMware Workstation like me. Uh, this is the first screen that, that you're going to get, and you want to select uh, the top option, which is the uh, typical or the recommended option. And then you're going to want to uh, choose, I will install the operating system later, so that uh, it will make uh, the virtual machine with a blank hard disk. This is always uh, the best option for uh, installing Windows betas. Um, and then uh, you want to choose the yes operating system version as uh, Microsoft Windows, and the version as either Windows 8, or Windows 8 X 64, depending on which edition that you downloaded. Now, if you're using an uh, like an older version uh, of you know uh, whatever virtual machine software that you have, you uh, might not have a, a Windows 8 option at all. So uh, just select the newest version of Windows, whether that's Windows Vista or Windows 7. Uh, but I do have uh, the Windows 8 option here, so I'm just going to choose uh, the normal option for Windows 8 since I'm going to be installing the 32-bit uh, edition. And then uh, just click on next, and you can give it a name. I'm just going to call it the Windows 8 Release Preview. And uh, once you have it named, just uh, click on next. And uh, you can give it uh, however um, much of a hard drive space that you want. Uh, usually 60 gigabytes for a release preview build of Windows is usually a little bit too much, but you know, if you wanted to, you could give it this much. I'm just gonna uh, put it down uh, to about you know 20 gigabytes. I think that would be you know plenty because you you know I'm not really gonna be doing that much with this. Um, but you know if you were doing this uh, on like a real computer, I think you need uh, like at least 15 gigabytes uh, of hard drive space. I'm not certain on that, but uh, we can tell once we get uh, into the installation. Um, but yeah, like I said, uh, 60 gigabytes is usually a little bit too much, uh, but you can of course set it to whatever you want and you just want to uh, store it as a single file and then you just want to click on next and now you just want to click on the customize hardware option right here 
and this is going to bring up uh, the hardware customization screen and you want to set uh, the RAM I would say uh, to at least uh, two gigabytes you you might be able to leave it at one uh, but if you want this thing uh, to run you know a little bit better than it would uh, on minimal specifications I would at least uh, put it up to 2048 uh, megabytes um, and I would also set uh, the number of uh, processors to two um, as that kind of would also make this run a little bit better than having it run on a uh, you know one single core processor with one gig of RAM uh, usually you know putting both of those options up would make it run you know just a little bit faster if you want to set this to more of course uh, you can do that as well um, and then you want to go down uh, to the new CD or DVD drive and then you want to click on use ISO image file and in here you're going to want to browse uh, to your um, either your 32-bit or your 64-bit ISO file and again both of those links will be down below and once you have that uh, selected in here you're just going to want to click on the close option and then click on finish and you have uh, just finished creating the virtual machine and now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, go up here up at the top uh, now this is only uh, in a VMware workstation by the way um, you're, you're, you're going to want to go up to the top to where it says VM and then power and then power onto BIOS now the reason why we have to uh, boot into the BIOS is because we have to set uh, the BIOS date uh, back to the year uh, 2012 so that we can actually boot into this thing now I've been told by a few people that you don't need uh, to set the date back um, and if uh, you are using uh, some, something like Oracle VM VirtualBox which doesn't by default support setting the date back um, you can try uh, to install it without setting the BIOS date back but I'm not sure if it would work um, but I've heard of a few people that have uh, had success doing it um, without the BIOS date being set back it, I guess it just depends on what version of Windows it is I'm not really sure but just to be safe I'm going to set uh, the BIOS state uh, back to 5 now I have to turn on numlock here um, back to 5 31 2012 and then you just want to press F10 and then enter to confirm your, your uh, changes and now it's going to begin booting up uh, into the Windows setup now this screen will look very familiar um, to those of you who have uh, used Windows 8 except the only thing that's different on the screen is uh, instead of uh, your uh, you know uh, logo it just says Windows and I guess that's because they they had they had, like hadn't really made the logo yet or something um, but yeah this this screen here looks pretty similar to the Windows 8 consumer preview I also have a video on that as well I have uh, videos on both the uh, developer and the consumer previews um, but in uh, the uh, developer preview this looked uh, pretty much the same uh, as the Windows 7 uh, with uh, like the background taken out um, and now it looks I think this looks pretty much identical uh, to the consumer preview so all you have to do is uh, just uh, choose your options on that uh, previous screen and then click on next and then click on install now and now it's going to say setup is starting uh, it's going to you know uh, load all of its components from uh, the CD and we're going to be probably prompted to enter our uh, Windows product key and our name and all that kind of stuff um, so let's we'll wait for that here I think that the, yeah so this is the first thing that asks you to enter uh, is your Windows product key this is again going to be down below as well alright so once you've entered your uh, Windows product key you're just going to click on next and uh, once it loads the next page here, I'm not really sure what it actually does next. We're just going to wait for it. I think it actually um, prompts us. Okay, so first it prompts us uh, to agree to the Windows uh, pre-release license agreement. Uh, which you're just going to want to uh, click on I accept the terms and then click on next. And then if you were um, upgrading this from a previous version of Windows, you would choose the first option. But of course you would have to um, have this disk inserted into... Uh, a computer that already has an older version of Windows on it uh, but if you weren't and since we're not doing this option because we made a, a whole new virtual machine uh, we're going to choose the second option here and then we're going to choose uh, our disk zero unallocated space which is 20 gigabytes and then just click on next and uh, it's going to install on that partition and so this is usually the longest portion of the setup 
the, the times are a little bit faster in a virtual machine. It just depends on um, how fast uh, that your computer is, especially if you're doing this uh, on a like a real physical computer. Um, so you know those times might vary. So uh, what I'm going to do here is just pause the video, and I'm just going to come back uh, once the installation is completed. All right, so the setup uh, for the Windows 8 release preview has just finished up here, and it is going to uh, begin the uh, restart process, which uh, it, it could also take some time. Um, I'm not really familiar about how long that's going to take. Um, but I think what we do next is we're going to go in uh, to the portion of, um, of the setup, very similar uh, to the uh, two last previews where it's going to uh, stay on this screen for a while uh, as you know it says please wait right now um, actually that was kind of fast I don't know what it's doing um, but I, I think the next portion of the setup is going to be where um, we're going to uh, be asked for our name and our uh, like favorite color for uh, like the modern UI screen and like all that kind of stuff I think that's going to be in the in the, the next portion of the setup uh, but we're just going to see we're just going to wait for it here it's uh, gonna have to find all the devices uh, that are on the uh, computer right now which since we're in a virtual machine it's probably not gonna find that much it's gonna go by pretty fast and uh, hopefully it should uh, you know finish up fast here and we can get on to the, to the next portion of the setup all right so here we are uh, at this uh, sort of personalized type of screen where we have to you know put in uh, the color that we want uh, the modern UI to be I'm just gonna set it uh, which color haven't we done? I think we did this one in the last build. Um, let's do this one. Actually, this one looks pretty cool. And we'll just uh, give it a name. I'll just do uh, Win 8 RP, and we'll hit next. And for settings, uh, we can just use the uh, Express settings. These are usually fine. Uh, but if you wanted, you could uh, click on this Customize button and uh, you know change them to your liking if you wanted to. Um, and now it's going to ask you to sign into your PC. Now again, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. I'm not going to because I don't want to uh, link my Microsoft account to this. Um, and the way that you do that is uh, you go down here to where it says sign in without a Microsoft account. And you can choose uh, the local account option. And this is only if you don't really want to uh, have all of uh, your settings synced or if you were like me doing this inside of uh, a virtual machine and not on a real computer. So we're just going to put in our name, and I'm not going to give it a password or anything. Uh, so I'm just going to begin finalizing our settings, and it's probably going to load up the desktop. So, yeah, so it says your PC will be ready in just a moment. And uh, after this, we should uh, go right into the desktop. Alright, so we have booted back up, and apparently it's going to ask us to reinstall Windows Now. So I'm not really certain about how it figured out that... Um, we are past the date because I set the BIOS date back. Um, so if you just uh, uh, click on close like I did there, uh, you are able uh, to still use the operating system. Um, I guess it found the date. Uh, the, the, the only reason how I can figure out how they found the date is from the, the Microsoft servers. I think that's the only um, like way that they were able to find the date. Um, so I guess that a whole uh, setting the date back thing isn't really going to work. Um, but you can still use this preview uh, for like one hour and then it's going uh, to just uh, like restart it and then uh, it'll do it after that for every two hours. So if you were just using this uh, to like kind of see how Windows was back before uh, the official preview of Windows 8, it would work just fine. Um, I wouldn't really like recommend using this as your actual operating system because it's kind of out of date and you're not going to you know, uh, be able to, to uh, keep getting updates for it, especially because of that. Um, it's going to uh, you know, keep restarting all the time. Uh, but yeah, we can still look at um, all of the apps in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually set uh, the guest resolution up here. So we can do that here. We can go into display and adjust resolution. And we'll change this up to 1920 by 1080 and we'll just make this full screen and we'll keep changes so there we go so here we are um, on the Windows 8 developer or sorry the Windows 8 release preview uh, desktop and so yeah I mean the main difference between this and the final build of Windows 8 is that arrow is still here um, the uh, 
the Windows Start button was removed in the final build of Windows 8. They brought it back in Windows 8.1, and they're bringing the full Start menu back in Windows 10. So this was before uh, they made the whole interface flat on the desktop, and before they brought uh, the like whole Start menu back, which they're going to do in Windows 10. Um, so yeah, it like it still looks arrow if you uh, open up uh, like any window. You can see that uh, it's starting to look flat. Um, on uh, these uh, like edges here you can kind of see it um, but it's still uh, like transparent and I think that is um like what that they were trying to get rid of in Windows 8 uh, but yeah we can still you know go in here and you know this is basically the same uh, Windows Explorer as Windows 7 I think it's still called uh, the Windows Explorer yeah it is uh, in in a uh, Windows I think it was Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 they uh, changed the name to the file Explorer um, I guess just to you know make it better or something I don't know they just changed the name of it uh, but yeah this is um this is uh, the standard Windows Explorer uh, there's not really too much that's different on uh, the desktop compared to the consumer preview. I think everything's pretty much the same. Uh, we still have this little thing down here where we can bring up a giant keyboard on, which looks huge on this big display. Um, and uh, of course, they removed uh, both the uh, start button over here and uh, the show desktop button over here is uh, all gone as well. But if we go uh, to the Windows start screen, you'll see that so yeah they did add a few new apps um, in this build they added uh, the sports travel and news apps which are right here uh, the sports travel and news so let's go into the the sports app first it's kind of lagging for some reason I'm not really certain why um, but yeah you can still see that it says app preview down there because uh, they were you know still working on this at the same time uh, of course I don't think any of this is going to work anymore because um, they don't uh, like provide like live updates for this anymore since it's an old app um, but yeah that's how that looks uh, inside of travel this also says app preview you can go in here I think this is I think most of these are in Windows 8 today I think I'm not sure about the sports app though um, yeah I'm not certain about the sports app but or I, I, I might not have have noticed it but yeah this is uh, the Bing travel app uh, apparently you can like actually still bring up some or actually no you can't because the page failed to load um, so yeah we got that and uh, the news app is just gonna be like an RSS type client or something like that which doesn't work either so I, I don't think any of these apps are gonna work anymore because uh, they don't like provide like the servers for them anymore because you know they, they don't want people using this older version of Windows obviously um, you know, we'll let's try the mail thing so we can sign in with a Microsoft account if we want to but I'm not sure if it would actually work so yeah so that's uh, the Windows 8 uh, modern UI from here which is just I don't know why it's lagging so much honestly but yeah you know everything else uh, like the charms bar over here on the side uh, this all looks very similar to the final build and uh, to the consumer preview so I'll just run um, a win ver command here so you can see we are running uh, Microsoft Windows version 6.2 8400 um, and this did expire on 11 I mean sorry 1 5 2013 so I guess like I, the only thing I can think of is uh, they like when it first started it uh, uh, like uh, connected to the uh, Microsoft time servers and found like the current time um, and then set uh, the uh, virtual machines time to that so if you wanted uh, to get this working properly without like, uh, like any of that restart stuff um, you might want to just uh, disable uh, your network adapter while you're uh, installing this that may work I'm not certain though it might you know I don't really think of why it wouldn't work because you uh, you know had your date set back and everything um, but yeah I think that's gonna about wrap it up for the Windows 8 release preview there's not really anything else to say I mean this uh, it had a few differences compared uh, to uh, the final version. The main thing was Arrow. Um, I'll open up uh, the Settings app because I think there were, there may have been a few things changed in here. Um, let's change PC settings. Um, yeah, this looked a little bit different uh, in in the final version. Um, but yeah, you know, I think that's I think that's going to just about 
wrap it up for the Windows 8 release preview. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more videos like this, uh, definitely be sure to let me know down in the comments below and be sure to also uh, let me know of any uh, video ideas that you guys uh, would like to see. I always enjoy uh, you know, seeing what you guys have to say. And um, yeah, guys, again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.